Hey guys, Omerko here, self-taught web developer. And in today's video, we will do something different. We will jump into machine learning in uh, web development. We will do this with Brain.js library, which is a great and yet simple library for calculating uh, by machine learning and the neural networks. So if I go here to tap uh, for the examples, and here in color contrast, you could see some kind of example here. So this is exactly what we will do today. We will use some colors and calculate if that color is dark or light. And for that calculation, we will use Brain.js. So for the Brain.js, we need to pass a couple of data. So uh, each of these uh, colors, the objects that we would pass, would have their own input. The input will, field will be uh, with R, G and D for red, green and blue and it will be in decimals. So basically, whichever hex, for, uh, whichever value for the red, for example, we use, we need to uh, divide it by 255 to get the decimal value for that red value. And uh, we would uh, pass the output for some colors, for example, black or the light. In our case, we will use dark and light. And uh, uh, we would pass the value of one. So it's a true value. So once we feed this neural network, once we feed our memory, the Brain.js will know how to calculate the next colors that we will pass to it. So Brain.js basically simulates a human brain. So once we were young and for the first time saw a dog, uh, maybe we learned from somebody, from mother or father, uh, they told us that that's a dog and uh, from time to time when we saw it again we knew that that's a dog it's a similar way how the brain js uh, works we would pass some data and we will say it's a dark color and from time to time it will learn it's a dark color and uh, when, when once it sees a uh, different color but uh, still kind of looks dark it will say it's a dark color right so this is the similar similar way how the brain js works so let's go into project that we will create uh, to show you how this will work. So here I have my project and here is a color picker. Here is the section that will just to represent the color, change it as a color change. And here is the value that we will change if the color is light or dark. So if I choose a black color, black color, it is obviously dark color and I hit OK. You can see that the color here, the text is changed to dark. You can also see that the section changed, it changed its background color. So let me choose a yellow now. Now the color is light. So let's stop talking and jump into code so you could experience it. So first of all, my HTML. Uh, my HTML has Import, import, import for the CSS, my external CSS. Then uh, I have a markup. The markup is uh, main content, that section that is in center of a screen, which is divided by two parts, left and right side. In left side, I have that input field, which is a type of color, where we will choose a color. And down there, uh, I have a section that we will change a section color also. On the right side, I have just a text, color is, and bold text for the light color. For example, here, uh, there is a hard-coded value for the light, as we are currently using a hard-coded value for uh, gray. So for the CSS, just a simple CSS, base, change the background color, font family, main content to set it in center, left side, uh, input field and section, uh, just a bit style, styled and the right side also. So if I go to my browser, this is what you see. And if I change the color from the color picker, the section won't change the color and the text also won't change as we didn't implement anything from uh, our Brain.js. So regarding Brain.js, in my HTML I also imported the Brain.js. So in HTML, here I also imported the CDN of Brain.js you could also install it by npm uh, node package manager but uh, as we won't work like that here we are just creating some kind of simple javascript app we would import it like this and also i have my import for my main app.js file here that we will work on today so for a start of this video 
let's first uh, create uh, with the JavaScript the change of the colors for this uh, section. So once we change the color in color picker, the background color of this section would be also changed. So for that we need to grab our input field and also our section. So to grab those, I will first put comment here elements and I would grab a color input field, field per first. So cost of color input, uh, I would use document that query selector to select that input field. I would select it by input as it is the only input field on our HTML. And also I would use a const of color section to grab our section that we would change. The background color uh, will change from time to time. So document that query selector and we would select that by class of section. Now we need to detect the change on our color input. Uh, when we change the color, uh, then a change happened. And at that point, we will run some method to change also the background color of our color section. So for that, I would add here events. Uh, this is just the comment of events. So I would use a color input and add event listener on it. Event listener on it. Uh, event would be change. And the method that we will run is change color. And now to create this method. So const of change color equals to a function, but uh, arrow function. So here I would have a const of color and I will set it to be of color input that value. So let me console this color. Color. Yes. Let's go to a browser. So now in our browser, in a console, we should see the value. So once we change the color for inside of this color picker, I hit OK. You could see in console, there is a hex value here. So the change is detected and it runs successfully the ch uh, change color method, which grabbed our color that we will use. So to change background color for the color section, I would use a color section that uh, style that background color so you can see there is a background color like this we don't use background color like this like it's in css because the javascript uh, only works with the camel case not uh, the same uh, the same syntax as css works and the background color of this section would be set to color you know that the color is hex value right so now when we go to our browser and here we change the color like for this dark blue i hit ok then the color section is also changed so now we could start working with uh, a bit with the brain.js and create that neural network that we need that memory for our brain.js to work so here i would create a constant of network and it will be equal to new brain so as we imported the brain JS in our HTML, we could use this brain like this and add a method on it called neural network. Brain JS has this method, uh, which uh, it will create the neural network for us. So to have memory now in that network, we need to train that network. So I would add a comment here, training network. Also here I will add a component of, fun of functions just so we could divide our code a bit more. So network now and method on it that we will use is called train as we need to train it. So this method, uh, we need to pass an uh, array of objects to it. So let me represent the first object, object for you and you will know uh, how the rest will work. So as I mentioned, each object, uh, each object in our network should have an input value. Uh, which is for example 0, 1, number, string, no matter what or even an object, we will pass the object here and it will give us back the output value so when we train our network we need to pass both static data right? so for the input field here I would pass a red so you know we will work with the RGB so red, green and blue I would put uh, 
first the red, 0 0.18, then I will uh, pass a green value, which is also decimal value of 0 0.19, and a blue, which is a decimal value of 0 0.82. I already told you how to calculate these decimals, so you should know, right? And the output, we should pass the output. This color is dark color, and I will pass the dark to be 1. So, if the if uh, this is a dark color, we will pass the name of that uh, a property and we will pass 1 to it, so it, it's a true. Basically, uh, our uh, neural network will know uh, that's the true, true value. So, now I will copy rest of the data here. So now here I have eight uh, objects, each of those has uh, red, green and blue values and outputs. And uh, there is uh, four, value, four outputs for the light and four uh, outputs for the dark. So now our network uh, trained, I think, enough and it could uh, see for itself uh, which color is uh, dark and which color is light by these values that we passed. But this here is not the end. You know, when we get the color of our input field, we get that color as a hex value. So we need to turn somehow that hex value into red, green, and blue values to divide it uh, into the object with red, green, and blue property. And each of those objects should, each of those properties should be uh, decimals, not the hex values or the whole values for the red, green, and blue. This is just how Brain.js works. I will now copy the method, which is called calculate RGB. This may be look strange, but I will tell you in a second. So first of all, this uh, calculate RGB is not my method, obviously. It is a highly used method. You could find it on Stack Overflow, maybe some uh, other tutorials or even CodePen. And what it will do, we will pass to it the hex color that we get from our color picker and uh, it will use a regex to divide that uh, hex color by their uh, RGB values, right? And it will return to us a result object with uh, red, green and blue. So each of those properties inside of that object will be rounded to two, uh, to two decimals and also divided by 255 so we could get the decimals from our hex color. So now to get this RGB, I need to pass this color. So here when I change the color, I will create the cost of RGB and I will set it to be equal to calculate RGB and I will pass to it the color that we get from uh, our input field. So I will console.log RGB to see what we get here. So now I'm in my browser and I will use this color for example and I hit OK. So for as a result, it will give us like uh, uh, the object with red, green and blue and uh, their decimal values. So now when we have these decimal values, we could use the brain JS again to calculate our values and see if the color is uh, dark or light. So brain has this method called likely on it. And this method will take a look uh, at the value that we pass and also take a look at our network and see uh, and calculate by those two. So first of all, we need to pass the RGB as the value and also our network to it. So this will also give us back uh, the result. So we need to uh, store that in some kind of constant. So cost of color result, for example. And let me console of this. Color result. So you could see the result here. So now I will change my color to black and it will give us the result of dark. And if I change it to like this, it will give us a result of light as the color is obviously light. So the only thing left is uh, basically to change uh, text here by the values that we get from uh, BrainJS. Now that part is easy. So for that we first need to select the text. So I will grab my text with const of color text. I will grab it by a query selector and we will use a class of uh, color text and we would use the B here 
is we will change just the bolded part inside of the color text. We have a paragraph with the color text and there is a bold part and we will change just that bold part. So to change it, I will use a color text dot inner HTML and I will set it to be equal to color result. And if the color result is equal to dark, then I would set the inner HTML to be dark. And if it's not equal to dark, then I will set to be a light. So let's go back into browser and see this. So here we are now. Let's change the black color. The color is dark, obviously, and it also changed the text for us. So BrainJS did its work. I will change it to yellow now. Also works. Great. So now you saw a bit uh, machine learning in uh, web development. Machine learning is not uh, obviously highly used still in web development, but it is highly used in uh, uh, software engineering or even uh, uh, desktop app development. But it is kind of coming to uh, web development, so it is nice to explore and experience new things from time to time. I hope that you learned something new and something great today. If you liked it, please click like and subscribe as I'm posting new content weekly. And also don't forget to hit that bell icon so you could get uh, notified about my latest content. Thank you and see you in the next video.